Hi everyone, welcome to today's five simple exercises to get you moving um, and to work on our control. Today we are going to be doing just that, we're going to be working on the control of our movements, thinking about our breathing, um, and doing a few little stretches as well. So if you um, don't know who I am, I am Zoe, I am a physiotherapist and Pilates instructor and I'm the founder of Pilates Health Online. So as I say, today we're going to be doing a few exercises just to get the body moving and work on our breathing and on our control. So you will need to lie down for some of the exercises. We're going to do two in standing to start off with and then we're going to come down onto the mat to do a couple. Um, as always, work to a level that you feel comfortable with. So none of the exercises should cause you any pain and discomfort. Um, and make sure you're breathing while you're doing the exercises. That's the most important thing, especially for today. Um, and the other thing I should say is if you do have any health conditions, if you perhaps are suffering from any injuries and you're not sure if Pilates is right for you, then do check with your health professional before you get started. So, is everybody ready? Right, I'm going to do the bit in standing first, then I'm going to come over and just adjust the camera so you can see the map properly. So, I'm going to come over and we're going to start with the feet about hip distance apart. So we want to think about just spreading out the toes, having equal weight through the feet, and then coming up nice and tall through the spine. Almost imagine someone's got a piece of string and they've attached it to the top of the, your head and they're just gently pulling on it. And it's just giving you that sense of length through the body. Nice and wide through the collarbones and then we're going to bring the hands to the pelvis. So just like we've done on the other days, we're going to find that neutral spine position. So we're going to breathe out and just rock the pelvis forward, breathe in and come back to neutral. So we breathe out, breathe in. It's a nice gentle movement, so you don't want to force the movements. But what I want you to do is to think about that bowl of water. So you're pouring some water out the front, you're pouring water out the back, and then you want to find that level position. If you've got any water left, that is. And we're just going to keep that position there. We're going to bring the hands to the pelvis today and we're going to drop the shoulders. And all we're going to do is come up onto the toes. So we're going to peel from the heels and we're just going to do a little heel lift. And I may disappear off camera and then come back down. Okay, and again, so we're just going to float up and down. So we're going to float up and down. And we're trying to keep that sense of length through the spine. So we're going to breathe in to come up, breathe out to come down. And we're going to add in the arms. So the arms are going to come up as we come up and they're going to circle the side, to the side as we come down. So we're going to take a breath in and breath out. Breath in and out. Fantastic. You don't need to see my head anyway, do you? Let's do one more. Breath in and breath out. Fantastic. Now I'm going to go side on for this one so you can see. But what we're going to do is a little squat. So with this, what we want to think about is keeping the length through the spine. So we're not rounding the back. We're not arching the back. And we also want to think about keeping the knees over the middle of the feet. So we're going to take a breath in. On your breath out, take the weight slightly into the heels. Almost imagine you're doing a little bow. Let the knees bend and then come back up. So sometimes it helps to imagine that you're going to sit down. So we're going to breathe out and breathe in. So folding at the knees and the hips. Knees are staying over the feet, so the knees aren't traveling forward. And if I come from the front, your knees are staying lined up so they're not drifting in. So we're breathing out, breathing in. So this is a really nice one to work on our strength in our legs, but also the control in our lower back. So we're keeping that length, chin tucked under, and back up. Breath out. Breath in. Imagine you're going to sit down, last one, and then come back up. Lovely. Have a little walk out on the spot. Just let the arms swing, little heel rises. I'm going to just adjust this so, hopefully, you can see the mat a little bit better. Okay, so, what we're going to do from here is come down onto the mat. So, just let the knees bend, and then we're just going to come and have a lie down on our back. 
So just make sure you've got something to support your head so that you're nice and comfortable. Knees are bent up, feet about hip distance apart, collarbones are wide and neck is nice and long. So that sense of length we have in standing, we want the same sense of length on the mat. We're going to have the arms by the side, collarbones nice and wide. And then I want you to imagine that I've given you a tray of drinks and you're balancing them on your tummy. So when we do this exercise, you don't want to feel your, um, your pelvis twisting. So we're going to keep those drinks nice and still and we're going to take one leg and we're just going to roll it out to the side and then we're going to bring it back in. Same with the other leg. We're going to keep this leg still, the other leg's going to roll out and we're going to come back in. Now I want you to think about your ribs just relaxing down into the mat. So we're not letting the ribs pop up, we've got this sense of length through the spine. We're going to come back, we're going to do one more to the other side and then we're just going to think a little bit more about the breathing. So just come back to neutral, I want you to take a deep breath in, breathe out and just let the ribs just sink down into the mat. Bring the arms down by the side, take a breath in, and on your breath out, just let that leg roll out. As you breathe in, bring that leg back in. Same to the other side, we're gonna breathe out. Bring that leg out to the side, breathe in, bring it back in. Thinking about those drinks, we're trying to keep those drinks nice and still, we don't wanna spill them, but the breathing's really important. So we're breathing out as the leg comes out. Breathing in as we come back, breathing out. We're just going to do one more to the other side, keep that length through the spine, watch the ribs aren't popping up. And then we're going to come back to neutral. Fantastic. Okay, this next one is called our one leg stretch. So what we want to think about, again, is our pelvis position. So the first time we were thinking about that side to side. This time it's sort of forwards and backwards. So just find that neutral position. So you're not pushing your back into the mat. You're not arching it away. You're somewhere in the middle and you've got this sort of sense of length through the spine. Deep breath in. On your breath out, relax the ribs. Bring the arms down by the side. We're gonna take a breath in and on your breath out, I just want you to slide one leg down the mat and then bring that leg back up. Same to the other side. We're gonna breathe out, slide the leg down the mat and then come back. Now what I want you to watch is the connection here between your ribs and pelvis. So imagine you've got a little spring on the bottom of your ribs that attaches to the top of your pelvis. So as you extend the leg, you don't want to stretch out the spring and arch your back. You want to keep that same sort of tension in the spring if you like. So breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breathing is the hardest bit to do. I know it sounds daft, but we want to hold our breath when we're concentrating. So just make sure you're breathing nice and gently. Perfect. Keeping that control into the lower back, keeping those springs nice and still. So we've got that connection, ribs and pelvis. If you're just joining us, we are doing just a few exercises just to work on our control. We're going to do one last one and we're gonna come back to neutral. Okay, this last exercise is my favorite exercise. It's our knee twists. So it's a nice one for loosening off the lower back. Um, it gets the joints in the side of the, the well, into, into the side of the back, just opening and just gets everything moving. So we're gonna bring the knees and feet together, and then I want you to imagine that someone's super glued them. Okay, so they are now stuck together. We're gonna to bring the arms out just off to the mat and just into a little V shape. And then I want you to just think about where your shoulder blades are. So you want to just gently sink your shoulder blades into the mat so that they're nice and relaxed. Now your shoulder blades are going to become your anchor points to the mat, so they're not going to lift off the mat as you do this. So we're going to take a breath in, and on your breath out, we're going to keep the knees and feet together as we gently twist the knees to one side, keeping the shoulder blades on the mat, and you just go as far as you feel comfortable. Don't, don't force anything or overstretch and then you bring yourself back into that neutral position. Same to the other side. You gently twist and rotate, keep the shoulder blades down, go as far as you feel is comfortable, and then gently come back. Now, each time you come back, you come back to that neutral position, so you're not arched off the mat, you've got that length through the spine. So 
So we breathe out and breathe in. Now I tend to advise if you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis that you don't hold the position, which I'm going to do in a second, just to make sure you're not over twisting. So level two, we come over as we breathe out, but then we just hold that stretch there for a breath in. And then as you breathe out, we come back to centre. So that just gives you that deeper stretch. So again, just take care, but it's a nice sort of stretch through the waist. And back, we're just gonna do one more to each side. So hold the position if you want to as you take a breath in. And as you breathe out, that's when you're gonna come back. Same to the other side. Breathe out as you come across. Breathe in to hold if that's comfortable. And then breathe out as you come back to that neutral position. When you come back, take the feet hip distance apart. Bring the arms in. We're going to take the arms over the head. Take one leg out. Take the other leg out. Just have a gentle stretch out. A few breaths in and out. And then come back. Bending the knees up. We're gonna bring one leg into the chest. You can then bring the other leg in or you could do one at a time. Just a gentle stretch. And then slowly come back down. Fantastic, okay, I'm gonna come back over. So, let me come back and see you. There we go, hello again. So those are just a few exercises, I'm just gonna get just get comfortable into the camera. Um, just a few exercises to work on our breathing and our control, because it's really important that we are, when we're doing the exercises, that we're controlling the movement, but we're not holding our breath. And I think it's the one thing that people say to me so often when they're getting started with Pilates is, I can do it, but I can't breathe. So I'm either holding my breath or um, I'm breathing the wrong way. So I always say, don't worry about it. The most important thing is that you're not holding your breath, that you are breathing. In an ideal world, we get you to breathe out on some of the harder movements or where you need that little bit more control because your muscles are gonna work more effectively. But it's better that you're breathing rather than that you're, holding, that you're not holding your breath. So um, those are nice, easy, not easy exercises. They're nice, simple exercises to get you started. So those hip rollouts to work on your control of your pelvis from side to side. The leg slides work on your control of your pelvis backwards and forwards and then you've got a nice stretch with those knee rolls side to side. So thank you for joining me this morning. If you're watching this on um, the replay because I know I just sort of pop into the group every now and again and it is a lovely sunny day so you'll probably be out enjoying the sunshine. So if you are watching this later on the replay and you do have any questions then please pop a comment below um, and if you enjoyed the session and you found it helpful please share it so please hit the share button so as many people can have a go at this as possible right so i can't see any comments at the moment so i will love you and leave you and i will be back tomorrow probably about the same time i'll set in fact let's say half 10 tomorrow i will come back in and i will uh, be doing some more and we're going to do some on the mat again so you will need somewhere to lie down all right take care everyone and i'll see you tomorrow